Hello everyone, Jonas here, and this will be the second video for the Game Maker RPG. So in the last video, we did the movement here, and we set up a few variables in the player object. So today I told you that we were going to do some um, game user interface, which we will. So now what we want for that is a sprite, or, well, sorry. Actually, we do want to go into room here. And we'll do settings, no, views. This will, will also work with some views. Um, and if you don't know what views are, it's um, following an object, for example. So let's see here, view in room. Um, let's enable or disable this. Part on screen. Um, yep, yep. This right here, we want to be 640 by 480 and we want to follow the player so pretty much um, yeah, I'll show you by going in here and say let's see a thousand by oh sorry a thousand by a thousand and we'll go into views and you see we'll only be seeing this right here <coughs> okay so now we got a view what I want to do is to create a new sprite oh I already did delete there we go and we'll go into, oh, we'll call it sprite underscore GUI border. And we'll do edit sprite, and we want it to be 640 by 480. No, that's not. By, let's say, 200. Yeah, it might be a little too big, actually. Let's see, you can always resize the canvas here. And we want this right here to be, yeah, 100. Uh, it might be a little too little, but we'll we'll try it. Um, <clears throat> so now, what we want in here is, for example, let's say we wanted a border like this one. Um, wanted it to be a little thick, not like that, but like this. There we go. And if I could just. There we go. Is that pretty good? I think that's pretty good. Pretty good, I think. So let's see. I want this down here to be covered as well. Okay, there we go. And then whatever color we want in here could be red. So this will pretty much be our GUI board, GUI border. So now what we want to do is we want to create an object and we want to call it object underscore controller. And we'll give it, no we won't give it any sprite. So, and then we'll do draw since we want to draw on the screen. <coughs> Sorry. And also this is where our um, var variables from the last time will come in handy. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, execute code, which is still inside of the control. <clears throat> and we want to do draw underscore sprite. We want to do spr underscore GUI border, comma sprite underscore GUI border. And this is defining what sprite we want. So now for the x and the y coordinates, we want since we now have a view called view zero, we want to do view underscore x view since this is the x coordinate zero for the view right here. And we do, we'll do, yeah, pretty much just that. Yeah, plus zero, just to make sure. No, no I, we won't do that quite yet. View underscore y view and zero. So this will place it in the top corner and it will follow our player around as we go around the map. And it will look kind of like this. We want to place it in, in here, we'll just place it way up there. And we'll try this out. Yeah, that other video right there. So now as we go here, yeah, you can't really see that we're actually going anywhere. Uh, there you can. And you should be able to eventually, if we just go down here. Yeah, there we go. And the border will follow us around, pretty much. I think right now we'll just go straight onto it. No, we'll go past it. Good. Um, so now we want something inside of this border. We want the... Um, life, like how much life we got, 
or no, actually we'll draw that on like up on top of our player. So we'll just do our um, skills. So what we want for that is draw underscore text and we want to do x comma y that'll be view underscore x view still um, view number zero and then we want to do plus whatever we want it to go away from the one left side of the screen so let's just say 25 and we want to do view underscore y view still zero plus 10 and then we would do string um, no, actually, we'll do this. Um, <clears throat> we'll do what was it? Strength. Strength. We want to do plus string, and then global dot string. I believe that we did make that global, did we not? If not, that was a failure. Yeah, global dot strength, global dot magic. And global that defense. So now, pretty much what you would be seeing inside of the room, if I have done this correctly, I would usually put it in two lines of code, but we'll try this out. Okay, see, we got strength and then 10. Since that is our strength, it will also follow around in this room. So let's say, yeah, for, first of all, we want to. There you go, semicolon. Um, but then we would want the other ones as well. So draw underscore text, view underscore x view, zero, plus still 25, once it goes the same amount away. But then we want to do view underscore y view, zero, plus, and then instead of 10, we want to do, let's say, 20. And we would like to do five step magic and then plus yeah um, in case I didn't tell you that this string right here is used since um, our global dot strength is an integer right now. Uh, it, it's a number. So in order to convert it into a string, we would need to do string and then Instead of these two um, brackets, we want to do global.magic. So that will transform it into a string, which we need in order to draw some text on the screen. So now we should have the magic number underneath it. Yeah, it's a little, <laughs> yeah, this is, this, this is pretty much just trial and error, just trying out until it works. Let's try 40, double as much. Should be a little better. Yeah, there we go. Strength and uh, strength ten, magic ten. Um, for some reason, the strength does not have the this one, but it's probably there. We just can't see it. Um, what else did we have? I believe it was defense, and it's the same thing you do. Plus twenty five. View. Let's go Y view. Then we'll do plus 40 plus 40, no, plus 30, that'll be 70. And then we'll do uh, defense. And then plus string global that defense. Um, it do not want that. Let's see. Why does it not want that? That's a little weird. Oh, there it is. View and scatter Y view zero. What is this? Why? What did I do here? <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Apparently, typed something I did not realize that I was typing in. Oh yeah, this video is getting a little longer, but I don't think that will do too much. Okay, so now we have strength, magic, and defense up there, um, and we can add some more stuff if we do want to do that. Um, and I think we should still have the, let's see, uh, create event. We will still want to get our user name. So that would be something like, uh, yeah, we'll just do name 
our global that name is equal to get underscore string and we need two integers for that oh there we go the first one is the question so that would be what is your name <coughs> and the other one I don't think I have that in here no, I don't um, the other one here should be whatever is already in the box but we don't want anything in there so let's just do it like that and then pretty much in here inside the draw event of the controller we can do as well something like uh, draw underscore text um, yeah view underscore no we could do yeah I forgot about that sorry inside the player create event no sorry step event since we wanted to constantly create a new X for this we want to do global dot player X equal to X and global dot player Y equal to Y so pretty much we're making variables that we can use anywhere of the players X and Y coordinates which means that we can now use them inside of the controller object so now we could do global dot player x comma global dot player y and we want to be on top of the player so we do want to have minus and the player is 32 by 32 so let's do 20 let's try that out but no we don't we haven't send our player let's do that real quick you go into, into the sprite called player and click the center button so now this should give us a text box on top all we need to do here is to do um, string and then global dot name so now we pretty much have the user name on top of everything else what is your name Jonas unknown variable player X oh yeah that's right we need to <coughs> oh let's see here we need to I know I don't think this would work but let's try and put it further down here so that maybe it would allow the code to get that far nope it would not under unknown variable player X see here for what player X look okay so let's do in here Global dot player x equal to x, global dot player y equal to y. That should fix it since the create event is the first thing to be checked. Yes, it does. But the the name is a little bit off. Um, yeah, let's try that one more time. Once again, it's primarily just trial and error over and over and over and over again. So let's do minus 60 here, and then he'll do 32. Let's try that out. I'm going to give him another name, Pete. Yeah, so now you see Pete is the name of this player. And it, the name is on top of him. And you can put pretty much anything up there. Um, but yeah, this is becoming a really long video now. So I'll end it here, and well, please tell me what you should want to have in the game like if you want stuff like fishing or shops or crafting or whatever um, just tell me and I'll do videos on that it might be a little longer video if, if it's about crafting but we'll have a look at that um, should be no real problem so yeah I'll see you guys next time please tell me what to do and please comment rate and subscribe since I don't I don't really have that many subscribers and also, if you do comments and stuff, it will encourage me to do more videos. Because I'm like, yeah, someone's actually watching this and learning something. And they'll, they'll make me happy. So, yeah. See you.